very disappointed in the short life this unit has. It performed well for 18 months, but the exhaust fan apparently was made of plastic and the fan blades all fell off after exhausting hot air, just six months after the warranty expired, rendering the unit useless. What this picture shows is the broken fan blades sitting at the bottom of the exhaust chute. After reading other reviews here, apparently Triplight does not sell replacement parts for this unit. Review number 2 I purchased this in May 2016 to cool a small 14x6 server room that has two Think servers and a few switches enough heat build up to be a issue but not enough to expect cooling to be a major problem. The first unit died in about 3 months, and Trip Light support was kind enough to ship a replacement unit. This cost me $50 in shipping and a week without cooling but I did learn some things which may help you. First, while speaking to tech support, I found out that this unit is only designed to run 4 to 6 hours per day. That could be a problem when it's 100 degrees outside, the office A slash C is off for the weekend, your servers are spewing heat and the temp is set to 65 on the circle 12k. Lesson, the office A slash C is still going to have to take on the majority of the cooling work. Second lesson, I had the first unit set to high and the thermostat set about 4 degrees cooler than the office A slash C. I assumed it would cool down and then run intermittently after that. I was wrong. It ran constantly. I believe the issue is that it exhausts so much air from the room that it is constantly sucking in warmer air from the office and can never get ahead of itself. I now have the fan set to low and it seems to be doing a much better job. Third lesson. If you live in an area where humidity is a problem, run the hose. We bought into the marketing that this would evaporate the humidity in the exhaust. It overflowed on the weekend and made a mess. After that we ran a drain hose and it's worked well since. Fourth lesson. The SNMP module for this thing made it a lot more complicated than it was worth. Even after you get past the fact that you need an old insecure version of Java to run it, it seems to get confused. Simple is better. I removed the SNMP kit and am just letting it run with the front panel controls. I'll find another gizmo to monitor the temp and alert. Last recommendation, based on the first one dying after three months, buy the extended warranty. I considered numerous residential slash commercial air conditioning units but went with this one because it seemed to be designed for the IT environment. I therefore assumed that it would offer better reliability and better controls than the other A slash C units, especially with the SNMP module. I was wrong. I have other trip light equipment that works well but this is tarnishing the brand. I believe I would have been as well off or better off with one of the $400 units from the big box home improvement store. Summary, when it works it works acceptably well. Documentation is average at best. Some best practices slash scenarios would really have helped. Support was good. If you are cooling racks there is likely value in the tubing that they provide to duct air into the rack. If you are just cooling a room like me you can likely get more cooling for your buck with a standard air conditioner. Review number 3. Our third circle 12K just failed after 13 months of use. Just blows hot air. I opened a support ticket in hopes something can slash will be done and we'll update this review with the results. I purchased our first Circle 12K back in August 2011 to cool a small, 100SQFT, closet that houses two small servers. 
I primarily purchased it because it doesn't require a drain for water, it evaporates it itself. Great feature, and it works great. That unit stopped cooling in September 2014. After 3 years, technically 37 months, of 24 7 service, I wasn't terribly upset that the unit finally decided to call it a day. I mean, that's over 1,100 days of constantly running. I immediately purchased another Circle 12K to replace it. That unit, our second one, only worked for 11 months before it kicked the bucket. It was disappointing, but I was happy to see that it carried a 1YR warranty. So, I called Trip Light, an RMA was generated immediately, and a new model was shipped to me right away. I figured it was a fluke, as the first unit lasted 3 plus years. I received the replacement unit in August 2015, and it worked great. Here we are, it's September 2016, and our third circle 12K just gave up on life. 13 months later, but more importantly, one month outside the warranty period. Hopefully Trip Light will take this under consideration, but I understand it's completely within their rights not to. Review number 4. I have been having a great deal of trouble with this unit. The first time I plugged it in, the alarm light came on. Despite this obvious defect, it seemed to be working properly. However, I would come to check on it daily. Some days it would not be on at all. It is supposed to restart in the event of a power failure. Then some days I would come in and it will have switched itself from cooling mode to dehumidify mode for no reason. I am currently working with Trip Light to troubleshoot the issue. So far, I have been told to put a piece of electrical tape over the infrared sensor on the top of the unit, which serves no purpose whatsoever I am told. However, this sensor has been known to cause problems. As far as the alarm light, support tells me to check the reservoir for water buildup. As I stated, the alarm light was on since the first time I plugged it in. So unless they shipped it with water. This is not the answer. I spent quite a bit of money on this and it was only three months ago. So far, support has told me to put a piece of tape on it and they don't know why the alarm light is on. If this ever was a good product, I have yet to very disappointed in the short life this unit has. It performed well for 18 months but the exhaust fan apparently was made of plastic and the fan blades all fell off after exhausting hot air, just six months after the warranty expired, rendering the unit useless. What this picture shows is the broken fan blades sitting at the bottom of the exhaust chute. After reading other reviews here, apparently Trip Light does not sell replacement parts for this unit. Review number 2 I purchased this in May 2016 to cool a small 14x6 server room that has two Think servers and a few switches enough heat buildup to be a issue but not enough to expect.